Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another case of 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball 12 box pick your team four. Good job guys. We filled this up straight up. No team randoms or nothing. So, big big thank you to all of these people right here who picked their teams straight up. Good luck Ryan with that last spot Mojo Orioles. And there's everyone else. Thank you and good luck to all. this case open and see what kind of wonders we can find in here it's, it's been pretty good so we've only done three cases but so far so good looks like we've been pulling some nice stuff out of here <coughs> seeing some of the big names some low numbers some hall of famers vet autos Hall of Fame autos, etc. MVP autos. Two hot boxes per box. There is a uh, autograph hot box, which will have five autos per box, and then there will be a parallel hot box, which will have like twenty. I think each pack has like a prism card in there. Number parallel hot boxes, which are pretty cool. All right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. I think only one game is still in progress today in the bottom of the 12th. I think the Mets and the Giants are tied at one. Oof. That's kind of a brutal game. Unless it's been a good pitching duel, but 1-1 one, one in the bottom of the 12th. Is there anyone there at that game? We'll get our TV set up. We've got direct TV coming in soon. Um, final scores. Miami beat the Padres 4-3. to Philly beat my Dodgers 7-6. to Red Sox shut out the Blue Jays 5 to nothing. I think Chris Sale went like six innings and threw 12 strikeouts or something. He went bananas. Kansas City edged out the White Sox 6-5. to Yankees uh, won both games of the doubleheader, 6-2 and 5-1. St. Louis uh, beat the Reds 7-4. to Cleveland beat the Tigers 6-3. to Nationals pounded the, uh, the Braves 13-4. Minnesota beat the Oak, the hot Oakland A's six to three. Astros beat the Angels six to two, and the Brew Crew beat the Diamondbacks five to one. Vinny saying Noah pitched a gem. Surprisingly, the pen hasn't blown it yet. Well, it is in the bottom of the frame, isn't it, Vinny? Still time. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. So just in the interest of time, we're going to be speeding through this a little bit faster than we normally would. We do have another break to do before we call it a night. There's Mookie Betts to 199. Pink Velocity. There's Chris Paddock with an excellent start last night to 150. We've got Brendan Rodgers, rated prospect autograph. We've seen some Brendan Rodgers autographs of him in previous years in this set as well. So sometimes I'll add some old old autos in here too. We'll, we will do an autograph recap at the end of this video as well. Bob Wessel saying that these that the parallel hot boxes, that's the, that's the moneymaker right there. Yeah, people really love these parallels. There's Giancarlo Stanton, a lot of set builders out there for the optic. There's our second autograph. Speaking of the Mets, there's Pete Alonzo. Optic autographs. And that's for Richard Z with the Mets. Brendan Rogers, Rockies. That goes to Charles, by the way. So those are our first two autographs. What does everyone think about the uh, 
about changing over over time, changing uh, extra innings rules. Does any, anyone have any strong feelings on that? Baseball has been kicking around the idea of trying to do something different with extra inning games. Maybe put put a runner at second at a certain point. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. But some or at maybe add like start start adding outs or something like that. I don't know. Uh, you, you try to got to do something, but. I don't know if it happens. I, I mean, I guess it does, but I, I like the idea of the fact that a winner has to be decided, right? There's something special about being being able to say, "Oh my God, I, was, uh, I grinded it out. I was I was at the game for all 15 innings, or something." I feel like the tie has been a little more the Sean Reed Foley autograph already. Maybe a parallel hop or auto hop box, maybe? We'll keep count right there. Um, yeah, lot, I feel like there's been a lot more ties in the NFL. We don't want that. There, yeah, autograph hot box. Kevin Kramer. Nice. Sean Reed Foley goes to Brian in the Blue Jays. Um, Kevin New or Kevin Newman. Kevin Kramer. Different pirate. Uh, goes to Nicholas Beeman. So uh, Bob saying I did a case yesterday. Three Vlad autos and a Wander autograph. Well, we have I haven't seen a Wander autograph yet. Jacob Degrom to seventy five. We've seen some Tatises and a couple Vlads. Yeah, this stuff has been delivering. There's Alex Bregman. 99. And there's Justice Sheffield. Justice being served to the Mariners. That'll be for Mark Matheson. Yeah, Vinny saying, it always kills me when the game goes 15 innings and you know they stop serving beer in the seventh. Nice. Use Nell Diaz. Former Dodger prospect for the Orioles going to Ryan. Last spot mojo. And there's Jonathan Loizaga. Pink Velocity autograph for Eric Bailey and the Yankees. Not numbered. There's Manny Machado, the We the People. Parallel to 76. I mean, I suppose it's a liability thing. I mean, for the for the beer, but I don't know. Maybe they can't really predict how long extra innings will go. But yeah, How do you how do you sell it? maybe you can come up with some sort of uh, swipe card system or something like that? I don't know if that would I don't know if that would work. To be like pretty much what what I'm trying to get to is like what if you only had like two beers? You know, you're just like a weeknight or something like that, and you weren't going nuts, you know. But you had time to watch a ball game, you know what I mean? Maybe a few extra innings, you know, twelve, thirteen or something like that, you know. You should be able to say, hey, I've only had two beers. Can I get one more? Just we're in the thirteenth right now. I suppose. I suppose 
one beer could get still get you like a DUI or something like that. Leaving the, the ballpark team gets in trouble. might have access to this the game is still going I didn't know there was something still going on let's see if I can pull it up on my MLB TV Box. Tuki Toussaint. Oh, looks like there's a little bit of a little bit of damage right there. You know what that is? There's like a machine that pushes the cards in, and if it slips a little bit, it must have grabbed a little bit of that. That's out of 75. That goes to Shane. Shane, you may be able to. Save you one of these wrappers. We'll may be able to. to get Panini to replace that for you. You'd be like, hey, I bought it. Colby Allard, a second Brave autograph for Shane. 299, that one looks fine. Oh, another autograph. It's our second autograph hot box. Luis Ortiz. So two already. That goes to Ryan and the O's to 99. And Dennis Santana for my Dodgers. Who's got my Dodgers? Nancy with my Dodgers. There you go, Nance. Corbin Martin to 150. Oh, yeah, the Seagulls all. That stadium must be empty. There's Ahmed Rosario for the Mets to 75. And Willie McGee, MVP Willie McGee. 1985, I think we looked it up last time we got this. Lou with the Cardinals. There's King Felix to 60. So there's your five autos right there. Obviously, we'll top load all these before those go get sorted and shipped out. What are the uh, Mets doing at the trading deadline? Are they going to do anything? What are the, what's, what's the Mets' plan? I don't know if they're in play for the East, right? But I feel like everyone has a shot at the uh, at the wild card. The Mets are five and a half back of a wild card spot. But I don't know. Unless things start heating up right away, maybe they start making moves. Get rid of Zach Wheeler. Get rid of get rid of Noah Syndergaard. Is that really going to happen?
Yeah, you two had a free game on uh, in the morning, actually, Mr. Mike's Dad. Yeah, at least morning my time. It was a Dodgers-Phillies game. It was only on YouTube. I thought that was pretty cool. I know, I know that there are a lot of people in L.A. who still don't have the Dodgers network. So I think there's like... I think still like 30% of LA, which is, you know, LA is a big city. It's a lot of people. 30% of LA is still can't watch the Dodgers because they don't have the right cable service. And satellite customers don't either. So direct TV people, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it's a good way for the, for LA market at least to watch those games. But I think it's cool. A YouTube only game. So could be interesting. For the hobby saying when Facebook was showing those free games last year, everyone in the chats was just complaining about free baseball. Yeah, why would you complain about free baseball? Enjoy it. There's Griffin Canning to 199. I think it's great. I think you reach a younger audience who who are used to watching on YouTube anyway. You know, and baseball is always trying to capture that elusive young market. You know, so if you get young kids into watching baseball at an earlier age, you know, you keep them as fans for a much longer time if you get introduced at a young age. There's Keston Hira, rated prospect autograph. Not numbered, Rory, but you're on the board. And I think that also introduces, you know, kids to, uh, you know, just to different players. You know, you only get so many national games, right? You only get so many Fox national games. You only get so many ESPN Sunday Night Baseball games. There's Kyle Wright, autograph, Braves, Shane. So you only get so many of those national games. Matt Carpenter to 60. So, yeah, so you get a little more exposure, baseball exposure to a lot more people in a different format. Yeah, it is a it is a crime. It's a it's a whole. The, the Dodgers network thing is a whole cluster F down here in LA. Ooh. Ooh. Pete Alonzo. Go ahead home run, maybe? He just needs a single, actually. Um, yeah, the, the so the company was, Time Warner Cable was the original company that started the, the Time Warner Sports Network, which paid a zillion dollars to the Lakers and a zillion dollars to the Dodgers to create their own unique sports networks, just like, I guess, Nesson and, and Yes Network for the Yankees and blah, 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 blah. So, so they, they, they paid the Lakers a ton of money for those rights, built, built them these beautiful studios. All, all the original programming is great, great production value. It's a solid network, the Lakers network. But... Time Warner Cable then shoved it down the throats of like DirecTV, forcing them to pay X dollars, you know, a channel for a month for those, and blah 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 blah. And then after a few years after that, they also struck a deal with the Dodgers for the for with a huge TV deal, and then tried it again. And this time, DirecTV and Dish and all the other smaller cable companies were like, nope, no way, I'm not going to do it. So there was a time when like maybe half of LA couldn't see that the the Dodgers on TV regularly. I, now I happen to have the the Time Warner cable, so I was okay. And then they then who they they merged with somebody, and now it's called Spectrum. So they changed the TV name and they changed the network name and all that sort of stuff. But but they got a slightly bigger market share in Los Angeles. But there's still like 25 to 30 percent of the population that is just on Direct TV or whatever. 
on dish or saddle whatever satellite provider they may have you know and so because of that they don't get to they don't get to see the Dodgers which is kind of crazy it's Chris Bryant to 10 nice low number there for the Cubs Mark B so it doesn't look like it's that's going to get resolved anytime soon it looks like it's just going to be this you know the situation so I think a lot of people have just resigned themselves that they're not going to be able to watch the Dodgers if they have like direct TV because let's say they have like Sunday ticket or something which kind of sucks you lose a lot of casual fans you know who could turn into bigger fans there is Kristen Stewart for Zach Tigers that goes to 125 44 out of 125 on that one Zach nice FYI, both of our autograph hot boxes have been pulled already. We have not seen the parallel hot box yet. There's Jean Duplantier to 199 for the Diamondbacks. And we got Chris Paddock. Took a no hitter deep into the game last night. That's for the Padres. Brian Peebles with the Friars. All right, next box. Yeah, not a lot of people watching this game in San Francisco. So at the end of the games, the sea the seagulls in San Francisco have kind of been trained to know that there's a ton of food just sitting around as people leave the ball games late in the games. So they all converge at the Giant Stadium, whatever it's called now, Pac Bell, I think. So they all gather there, and so a lot of times these birds just end up like landing on the ground, on the baseball field, in the, in the diamond. They're going to take over that stadium someday, the Seagulls. I got a question for everybody who's still still awake right now. Strike zone box or no strike zone box? Do you like it? The strike zone box that's just out there on TV or no strike zone box? I go back and forth. Sometimes I don't want the strike zone box. <laughs> Sometimes I want it there. Oh, come on, Pete Alonzo. That's a third out. Fly out. That's your best chance. I think the... I'm watching... I have MLB TV and I'm watching the Mets broadcast right here. Uh, the SNY, I think, is the network. They, they are going no box. No strike zone box. Radical likes the strike zone box. I think the strike zone box has to be really subtle. There's Noah Syndergaard, potential. Uh, who's going to trade for Noah Syndergaard, I guess? Who's. Brewers could use a, a starting pitcher, right? Twins could use a starting pitcher. Someone at the top of that rotation. The Padres are serious. They might want a Noah Syndergaard to at the top of their rotation. Braves already got Dallas Keuchel, so I don't think they're they're going to do anything. There's Chance Adams to 199, and there's wow Green Glaber Torres, rated rookie autograph. That's for Eric Bailey and the Yankees. One out of five, and that's from 2017.
That is awesome. One out of five on that one. Eric Bailey, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Cody West, what's going on? No, it's, you missed out on a lot. This is We're in the new shop. Not a closet. There's, we've got 3,000 square foot here, man. Does it look like a closet? I haven't, I've, we haven't finished furnishing and decorating yet. We're still under construction. There's Michael Chavez. I've got the biggest studio here. And there's Ryan Baruki, our second autograph. Oh, well, you're watching on a little phone. You can't do that. That goes to the Blue Jays. Brian with the Blue Jays. No, you got you to gotta maximize your Jaspi experience. Get a bigger phone. Watch on an iPad. Full screen that. But yeah, no, we're, we're, it's like the old days when we're, I've got my own little room now. So we got, we're, I'm back into my, old, my own little studio. So it will be, so it will actually, you're right, it will be in a more enclosed space. I think we're going to have like another camera that'll shoot out this big window right here to see more of that background. Yeah, put me on the 93 inch. Put me on a projector. Throw me on a wall. Throw, throw me on a wall on the side of a building, Cody. Just go nuts. But yeah, so we're, we're still doing a lot of construction, Cody. I mean, the entire, that entire room is empty right now. Maybe I can turn the monitor really quick. And sh sh so that's like this huge empty room out there, right? There it is. That's how far the room is. I'll have an extra camera to go out there, but we, we got to fill in. We got to, I think we're still waiting for all the showcases to be delivered. We got the card bar to be, we haven't figured out where we're going to put the arcade machines. We got our arcade machine back there. I hope that's not broken. No, Nancy, my, my hands are strong. Long time guitar player. I, I stretch out my hands too. So that's how big the room is. So there's the very patriotic, we the people, to 76, appropriately. Both, Cody, I can play both. I actually started on the old, the old bass guitar. But yeah, so we gotta get the card bar set up, we gotta get all the showcases, we gotta get all, fill the showcases with a bunch of boxes. Fill up the walls, get some local artists to paint some stuff on the side of our building, get the sign up. That's Ryan Baruki to 150. There's Jose Barrios to 150. This looks like the parallel hot box. Yeah, Eric Hosmer to 125. Christian Yelich to 125. We got Cole Tucker to 60. 
Corbin Burns is an autograph. That goes to Rory. 99. Brandon Crawford to 150. So yeah, this will be more of a uh, a hangout destination right here out of 125. There's the Oan Mankata to 10 for the White Sox. There'll be no massage parlor here, Rex. I know you really want that to happen here at Jaspies, but no, it's not going to. Trevor Story. I think it's like the third time you mentioned that massage parlor. You really want that to happen. Jack Flaherty to 125, Machado to 150. Out of 150, Jacob deGrom. I think that is highly illegal, Rex. <laughs> Joey Gallo to 125. Nomar Mazzara to 125. Javier Baez to 76. We the people. We got James Paxton. To 199. Dylan Cease is your second autograph. White Sox this time. David Duffy with the Shy Sox. Well, the bulk of our business is built on, on what you see or you have been seeing for years, Nancy. Just all these group breaks. So thanks to you and everyone else, we've been able to, to grow into where we are today. But now we're looking to add, you know, a little bit. Of I think I think these group breaks will always be the the bread and butter of Jaspies. But now that we're in this larger location where we can have like a storefront, I think we're going to try to add that layer to our business as well. Again, we think that the 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 online part of the business is always going to be the big the biggest slice of the pie, the revenue pie. But, you know, I feel like we can get a small slice in there from some local store sales as well. I think the, I think really the nearest card shop is still a decent ways away from us, so we're not really in their radius. And to most people in the South Bay area may not drive all the way up to the other card shop. And we're going to be different anyway. I don't I, I think we're different than a tr what you what many of you may envision as a traditional card shop. You know, I think uh, I think we want to create more of a hangout sort of environment here. Yeah, I think you have Nancy four or five years, as long as Rex has, right? I certainly hope you're not putting yourself in debt, Rex, joining our breaks. If so, we have some eight hundred numbers that we can refer you to to help you with that. But yeah, we're going to hope we're hoping to be more of a hangout spot. We got some lounge areas, we got some Wi-Fi, we got you know, video games for the kids to play. Hopefully be that kind of destination location. So you saying we should have a nice selection on the shelves? Yeah, well, we're going to have enough inventory to go around. It's not going to be what doesn't sell will go to breaks. It's going to be there'll be a ton of inventory for in-store and a ton of inventory for uh, for online. There's Toussaint 25. And you know what the other benefit of that is, is that the more we buy, there's Devers to 125. There's the other parallel hot box. To 199 Nelson Cruz pink velocity. The more we can buy, the uh, hopefully over the years, the greater our allocation will be for even more great stuff. There's Mike Fulton Evitz. There's Miguel Andujar to 199. Felix Hernandez to 75, 76. We the people. But yeah, it won't be like, a, oh, let's keep that immaculate on the shelf, and if it doesn't sell, we'll turn it into a break. I mean, we're gonna have a mac plenty of immaculate here on the site that'll that'll sell, and then plenty in the shop that'll sell too. Scooter Jeanette to one twenty five. 
Yeah, Rory's Rory has been telling us in the chat too. He's been pull, he he pulled been pulling some really sick quad autos. Kyle Tucker Astros that goes to E A and the Astros. There's Trey Mancini to 76. Jose Martinez to 150. I do remember that update. A box. Are you going to buy it for us, Rex? Out of 75. Uh, Lou, we are in Hermosa Beach now. There's Fran Mil Reyes. Optic autographs for Brian and the Padres. If you told me in the spring that Fran Mil Reyes was going to have like 20 home runs by the All Star break, I would have said you were crazy, but there he is. Just raking. There's Jesus Aguilar to 99. There you go. Yeah, you can talk to Nancy Rex if you're in debt. She'll help you out. Out of 150, Colby Allard. Hey, folks, I'm telling you, you can make a nice little vacation out of this now. Before, their shop was way too small. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want Nancy to come all the way from Louisiana and and then and be like, oh, this is it, huh? But no, I think you could wrap a nice vacation here, ladies and gentlemen. In the, when we get everything all squared away, right? There are some nice, uh, some nice casinos in the Palm Springs area, a couple hours away, right? And you can spend a day out here near the beach, near the ocean, and enjoy your time out here too. Maybe spend a few hours, at, spend an afternoon at Jaspie's. Nice dinner spots, beach with the kids during the day, dinner, Jaspie's, a lot of fun. But yeah, so from our old shop, we will be, we are, uh, Lou, maybe just a couple miles north of the new shop, but just enough north to be in a new city. So we went from Redondo Beach to Hermosa Beach. It doesn't feel that different. Yeah, some shops do get... Screw well, most shops get screwed not not selling stuff because they they buy the wrong stuff or too much of the wrong stuff, and they don't and they don't break too often. You know what I mean? You gotta do that. Ooh, Vegas in October. If you have an extra day, you can pop pop right out here. We our store should be totally done by then. There you go. Yep, it's about probably about an hour from your parents' house. Spins up in that neck of the woods, diamond barish. I think be fine. The move did not impact my drive to work one bit. <laughs> I mean, I I saved maybe like five or ten minutes. Well, Rex, in the winter when it gets crazy cold out, that would be the perfect time to uh, to break. Oh, Ontario. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, in the in the cold, cold Indiana winters, when though when those roll around, there's Eugenio Suarez to one fifty. You can definitely make a little trip out here. There's a rated prospect autograph, Forrest Whitley for EA. Another Astro for Eric. To the game. Rowdy Tellez for the Blue Jays. That's uh, for Brian Peebles. Traffic leaving is not that bad. Traffic coming here is always a nightmare. Three out of ten, Aaron Nola. Nice one for the Phillies. Um, traffic coming here could be anywhere from... An hour to hour and 20 minutes or something crazy like that. Going home, 
is a breeze. There's nobody on the road. By the time I leave here, it'll take me like 20 minutes to 20, 25 minutes to get home, which is wild, right? That much of a difference. Hour, hour plus to get here and then, you know, but 20 minutes to 25 minutes to get back. So it bounces out. Sorry, I can listen to podcasts and stuff and listen to music. Three boxes to go. We're almost there, folks. So this should take us to the, about the top of the hour, about five minutes a box. And then we will do a two-box break of Argonaut after this, and then we are done for the night. And then we'll be back tomorrow with two brand-new releases on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Elements drops tomorrow. I know a lot of you have been picking up spots and Elements, so thank you for pre-ordering. And then Opulence drops tomorrow, which is a super high-end basketball product. So I'm sure we'll be doing a little bit of that as well. Plus, maybe we can squeeze in another Donruss Optic Baseball. That would be cool. What we have on the website is what we have for now. We'll try to get some more. And we'll try to get, I think more Ginter is coming in too at some point. So keep an eye out for that as well. I know. Uh, we got you one Dennis Santana already, I'm pretty sure, Nancy. But yeah, we need to find you maybe a, another one or two more. Maybe, maybe a nice low number too. Cody says, when you visit, you're skydiving out of a helicopter and walking in the front door, refusing to leave until traffic thins out. There you go. Yeah, eight or nine o'clock, there will be traffic things out. And by the time I'm done, it's completely, it's completely, pretty much free and clear. But yeah, it will be a fun destination location, folks. It's going to be exciting. No, I, I would imagine it's not. Cody West saying traffic, not a thing in eastern Kentucky. All right, let's go. We got Justin Verlander, We the People to 76. We got Fernando Tatis Jr., another one. I think we're four... Four cases for Fernando Tatis Juniors. There you go. That's for Brian Peoples and the Padres. Man. We haven't seen anything super low numbered though, but we've been getting those base autos. Nice. Uh, there it is. Brian saying four for four. That's a good day. Good day at the office. There's Miles Straw autograph. That goes to EA and the Astros. Astros have been hitting nicely too. Chance Adams, We the People to 76. 46 out of 76. Cody saying, Yeah, when I visit Cleveland or Georgia, shell shocked by how long it takes to get anywhere. Yeah, Rex, I've heard that too, that Atlanta is the worst place to, like, I guess in the United States to drive. I feel like, I feel like there are, like, places in other countries that are worse to drive in. But, um, but yeah, traffic-wise in the U.S., in America, Atlanta, for sure. Um, two boxes to go. It's a combination of like, of just like poor city planning, I think. Maybe not, maybe not planning enough lanes. Just, and then you add just the, 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 the amount of people that are there. Maybe jobs aren't spread out enough. Right, so everyone tries to go to like one location where all the employees are. Yeah, I've heard Houston traffic really sucks. Um, I think we were in Houston for a second. Uh, Nick and I were at a uh, TriStar show, I think, in Houston a couple of years ago. Some of you might remember that. Yeah, it, but I think we avoided most of the madness because we had flown in like at night or something like that. So we missed most of it. But I think we were driving back during the day and it was a bit nightmarish. LA traffic, yeah, it can get pretty bad. I'm, pre I'm used to it by now. Um, the, 
Orange County traffic, I feel like, is, is horrible. You know? Orange County traffic, I think, is a nightmare. So I think they have such huge... So it's like there's like really wide roads there. But there's just so many people. And I think someone tries to like... There's always someone like speeding during like bumper to bumper traffic, but there'll be like an open lane that's like a dozen car lengths and they'll, they'll just fly down there at 50 miles per hour, then slam on the brakes. And it gets kind of dangerous there. At least, at least in LA, it's a little too, roads are a little too narrow to really do that. I can't imagine Honolulu traffic because you can't escape, right? Like it's just... You're on an island. You're on a small island. You're like, you can't, you can't ninja your way around. It's like, this is it. <laughs> yeah, the 101 can get pretty brutal too during. Dallas, definitely crazy. Seattle is bad too. Decon's the same. Especially when it rains. You think people would be used to it by now, but no, everyone's an idiot in the rain, right? Joey Votto to 10. We've been seeing a lot of these golds. You know, because people people don't people don't check their tires and they're just driving way too fast in the rain and they forget all their all their rain training. Carter Keyboom to 125. Any major city, it's going to be terrible everywhere. Especially if you if the if the city hasn't like planned out its out its public transportation and stuff like that. LA only just recently started getting like their trolley system, their train system, metro system in order. Ooh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Brian Peoples with the Blue Jays. There you go. Out of 50. John Duplantier goes to Zach and the Diamondbacks. Radical was here for spring break in the 101. You spent most of your spring break on the 101. It's Caleb Ferguson, autograph for the Dodgers. There he is. There you go, Nance. He's trying to work his way back from an injury. The Dodgers need him, Nance. Dodgers bullpen, not so good. Developed a nice little curveball with Sandy Koufax. Showed him some different grips and stuff. So hopefully he'll get healthy. He'll be back with the Dodgers and bolster that bullpen. So a nice blue box there. Dodger blue, Blue Jay blue. Yeah, that Vlad streak is still going to me. I'm nervous because the, the Olympics are going to be here in L.A. In, not for a while, I think. I think... Ten, ten, 10 years? Actually, when are the LA Olympics? 2028. The Olympics are in LA. We've got less than 10 years to get this traffic thing right before millions of people descend upon Los Angeles to compete in the Olympics, to cover the Olympics, and to just watch the spectate at the Olympics. Jaspi's intends to be around at least until then. We have to go through all these cool sports cycles. I think we get the Super Bowl in a couple of years, right? Does that, I know the Dodgers have Dodger Stadium for the first time in a while. Our, uh, we're getting the All-Star Game next year, which should be a lot of fun. Try to get to the Home Run Derby. I think the Super Bowl, maybe maybe LA's Super Bowl got pushed back because I know the stadium was pushed back. All right, so Dodgers 2020, 2020, All-Star game, Dodgers, right? 
we'll try to maybe we'll try to break from there. 2022, right? So a couple years after the Dodgers All Star Game, the Super Bowl 56 will be in LA at the brand new stadium. Maybe we'll try to get on Radio Row and break on Radio Row. We might be we might add that clout by then in a couple of years or so. And then six years later, 2028, there will be the Olympics. Actually, there's something else in between. I think we've got a World Cup, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, in 2026, 2026, I think uh, that's the, the North America World Cup. That's Canada, Mexico, and the United States. But I think LA has some, uh, I think Los Angeles has some matches being played here. So there's World Cup in 2026, Olympics 2028. So got a lot going on in LA over the next... 10 years. So hopefully we'll be around. We are going to be around. We have to be around. We, we got to experience all of this. As a hobby shop, that's going to be awesome. There's Chris Sale. Michael Kopech. Uh, I, I would rather not imagine that, Rex. It would be an S show. There's Michael Kopech for the White Sox. Why would you even think that? Come on, man. Yeah, all-star prices are expensive. Baseball, basketball, anything. It's just special event price, you know? Like, I don't know what a, what, are, what are home run derby tickets going to cost for the Dodgers next year at Dodgers Stadium. Probably a lot. Serious question? Well, I mean, it's hard to explain how scary an earthquake could be. Usually it's not. Usually it just feels like a big truck just rumbles by your house. There's Miles Straw Astros. That's our last autograph of this optic break. Another one for EA. It's not, it depends on the type of earthquake. The big earthquakes that, that have been in the news recently, there's Esteban Floreal Gold to 10 have been more rolling sort of quakes. So it kind of feels like you're on a boat. Those aren't as scary. But the length of time that earthquake is, it was a long duration earthquake. That's kind of scary. Because you're like, when is this gonna stop? The scary earthquakes are the ones that like go like that. So there's the ones that just, just like roll and then there are ones that are like that makes that sound instead of the the ooh earthquake are a little bit more comfortable than the jugga 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 earthquakes. Here is your autograph recap and the out of tens and under. I think we had a pretty nice break. Vlad Guerrero Jr., some Miles Straws, some uh, that was Framil Reyes, Kyle Tucker's, Dylan Cease just got called up. We got Chris Paddock, Kristen Stewart. Keston, Willie, MVP auto. There's that Dennis Santana, Nancy, that we pulled earlier. Toussaint, Justice Sheffield. So some nice autos here. Pete Alonzo, Brendan Rogers, and Glaber Day. Glaber Torres, one out of five. Sorry, a lot of cardboard dust on there, but there it is. And there you go. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Optic Pick Your Team 4, which we sold out straight up. So thank you very much, everyone, for doing that. Maybe we can do that again tomorrow. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.